Well, hey, YouTubers, Muskrat Jim here. It's been about, oh, almost a year since my cancer video. So I just wanted to go out to the tarp shelter and uh, just give you a little update. So come along. Well, since I did that video to announce that I had thyroid cancer, um, a lot of things have happened. Um, in December, I had my first surgery on my thyroid, and then in January, I had my second surgery to get the rest of it taken out. And then in April, or May, I guess it must have been May, I had some radiation therapy to um, try to kill all the rest of the thyroid tissue that was left in my body um, and thereby killing the cancer. Now this is the scar that I've been left with. You can see that it runs from there over to about there someplace. Anyway, being my age, um, 56, uh, a little scar is just, uh, it just means that I've lived a life. <laughs> It's nothing, uh, it's nothing that I want to hide or whatever. Um, it doesn't look that bad, it just looks like another wrinkle. Eh, another character line. Since I don't have a thyroid anymore, I have to take a hormone pill. It's a thyroid hormone replacement pill. And uh, anyway, I have to take that every day. And it basically takes the place of your thyroid. Uh, in giving you the, the right amount of energy, um, it affects your metabolism, it affects a lot of things, the, your, the health of your skin, your hair, you know, it, it really does a lot of things. But the um, hormone replacement therapy has some side effects, and one of which is that it can adversely affect your bone density. So I gotta change the battery. Not my battery, the camera battery. Just a sec. Okay, so now we're back in business. Now, as I was saying, um, the Synthroid hormone, synthetic thyroid hormone, has the negative effect of You can hear something moving along in the leaves over there. Could be a rabbit or a partridge. We have lots of those around here. Okay, so the negative effect of that hormone is that it can affect my bone density, which means I'm more prone to break a bone. Um, it's like osteoporosis. Um, so anyway, that kind of sucks because I like to be outdoors and I like to travel alone. Um, so if I were to trip over a stump and, I don't know, break a hip or something, um, I'd be in a pretty bad shape. So what I'm going to have to do is uh, take some precautions. Uh, for example, be very careful as I walk. Um, don't run around in the woods. Um, carry a cell phone and try to stay within cell tower uh, coverage. So every six months I've got to go 
get tested. Um, in the spring, I go and get tested to see if I have any more thyroid tissue growing in my body. And uh, if I don't, well that's great. And if I do, well then they want to radiate it again to get rid of it. And then in the fall, I go and get a bone density scan just to see how my bones are doing as far as you know the amount of um, hormone um, damage that's doing it to my bones. So uh, anyway, it's uh, one of those things you just gotta just gotta do. You know, we all have to live and we all have to move forward. Anyway, after I announced my cancer, um, a bunch of YouTubers started putting together some support videos for me. You know, they would light a fire for me, basically, uh, in support of my battle against cancer. So I thought that was kind of cool. And one of my friends, uh, Wayne Call Craven, down in uh, St. John, New Brunswick, he sent me a box of chaga, which was uh, really a nice, uh, a nice gesture as well, because um, chaga tea is known for its anti-cancer agents. Um, now I don't know if that means that if you drink it you won't get cancer or your chances of getting cancer are lower or whether it means that if you have cancer and then you drink it it helps to get rid of it. Um, but in, in any way um, it was nice of him to send me a box of chaga. And there was a couple other guys too that were offering to send me some as well but uh, but Wayne Culcraven, he uh, he was the one that start, that offered first, so I, I accepted. So thanks, Wayne. I really appreciate it there, buddy. So over the past few months, um, I've been getting a lot of requests, uh, both on YouTube and on Facebook. Just people wondering how the heck I'm doing, you know, as far as my cancer and the treatments and that sort of thing. Well, I'm doing, I, I think I'm doing pretty good. Um, I was off work from December, the, the date of my first surgery, straight through till the 8th of September, um, which is when I started to work again. But I'm only working four days a week because my energy levels are still kind of low. Um, now, some people that I've talked to that have had uh, thyroid, uh, their thyroids removed, um, they've said, you know, their energy comes back, but it takes like almost a year, or it doesn't come back at all, and, you know, that sort of thing. So anyway, uh, like I said, my energy levels aren't quite where they used to be. Um, I hope that I get more energetic, you know, as time goes on. Um, but, you know, if this, if this is it, well then this is it. So uh, I'd like to thank everyone out on YouTube and out on Facebook um, for their questions and their concern and their prayers and, you know, all that support. So I really do appreciate it.
Ah, uh, there's nothing like the smell of a wood fire. So we'll let that boil for a bit, and uh, then I'm going to make a cup of hot chocolate. So getting back to the sport videos that my viewers sent, um, a lot of them, what they did is they wrote cancer on a piece of paper or something and then just burned it. So, in that spirit, I'm going to do the same thing here. So thank you all again for your support. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, well, this is Muskrat Jim, signing out. For more muskrat survival videos, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe.